Well, I'm here with Dan Gagan. Um, we're in his Alvis TD21. That's right. This site is a, it's a former airbase, but there's nothing Cold War about this place. No, not at all. Um, the site was founded in 1916 uh, for the Royal Flying Corps. But after the First World War, um, it was mothballed for a few years. But really at the, the, the height of um, engineering excellence in aviation, the height of interest for uh, aviation to defend the nation and defend the empire, the perfect bomber station was designed and this is the last remaining example of that. It's like a time capsule, it's like they built it and then it was just left because I can't see anything here that, that sticks out as being 20, even late 20th century. Part of the art really is not destroying the very thing you want to be a part of, yes. so it's preserving the feeling and paying respect to those buildings but giving them a modern relevance and a, a modern life. And Dan, you're intimately connected with this place, aren't you? Yeah, um, this is the culmination of a dream of some years. Um, we were looking to establish a, a centre of excellence really to preserve the skills and make sure that they uh, pass through the next generation and generations after that, but also to make sure that our vehicles don't end up in museums and not being used. As far as I can see, there's an enormous amount of activity going on on this site. It seems that many specialists have decided to come here and base themselves here. For me, that vision seems to be coming true and some. Are you finding success? Yes, absolutely. I think um, there is a pent-up demand for, um, for the specialists. And I think there is a new cadre of uh, younger specialists and people who've grown businesses who actually see the benefit and the synergies of being on a single site. Yeah. Success breeds success and we're, we've been off to a great start. We have uh, around a dozen specialists here now from an upholsterer and a sand blaster through to um, a leading Bentley specialist. There's no doubt um, that because of where we've located it and because of RAF Vista being in the state it's in, mm. um, it creates a lot of interest from not just car people but people in the locality, people interested in Bomber Command um, and we're really thrilled to be here. This site is here for the future, it's like St Pancras, you've created a, a fantastic commercial success. The key to the future is to ensure that we enthuse the future generation um, and we don't see a problem with that. Uh, when we talk to youngsters they say they're really interested but there's no pathway until now and so we're really thrilled to have our first apprentices coming to work on site um, and being trained and educated locally uh, within a mile in fact. So we're very business-like about the way we're approaching this, uh, this site and this yeah. opportunity and uh, very much focused on excellence and the future.